Hello folks and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. In today's motorhome project video, I'm covering security. Um, I did part one a few weeks ago and this is the part two follow up that I promised. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and see what other methods I'm using to keep this van totally safe. Now, my number one off-the-shelf deterrent is one of these. This is a motorcycle lock. It goes through the disc brake, stops the wheel turning, therefore stops the bike being driven off. What I've done, I've, I've got captain's chairs in here, so I've swiveled the driver's chair around, locked it in position, drilled a hole through the swivel plate, lock this alarm onto the swivel plate and therefore the chair can't be returned back to a driving position if it is tampered with it sets off a 110 decibel siren and you can only get it out with a key it's, it will be very difficult to remove this so with the seat the opposite way round it's obviously very difficult to get in a driving position and take the van so that's my number one off-the-shelf deterrent. The next area of concern for me are these windows. Um, they're perspex, they're double glazed perspex. So in theory they're, they're actually harder to break into than glass windows. But if you have a very, very fine uh, narrow rod, metal rod, you can easily prise up under the window here and force these latches up and the whole window's open and you're straight in. So I found a means to secure this online that's really really simple. And this is the answer. A simple shaped piece of metal that slides over the latch itself so that now it can't be lifted up this part prevents the action and when you want to take it off you just put it forward and it comes off i got these from a company called lock em out and they do various shaped ones for the different brands of, of window and window latches and the different heights um, it's quite a good work website so i've got one on two on each window job done the next item on my list of off-the-shelf security devices is uh, is one of these brake and clutch pedal clamps so that they can't be depressed um, this one's a clutch claw there's plenty of different ones about this one pushes in to the floor of the van there then there's two plates that clamp up against each other and I mean it's going to take a while to get this off if you was that way inclined so it's a good visual deterrent as well you use one of these funny looking keys they're all unique to the, each lock and you pop it in and it unlocks and the whole thing comes apart it's also got these pins that go through these slots so you can't slide it about in fact there's hardly any movement once it's locked in place and then this comes out you've got a spacer here that sets it up for exactly the height for your vehicle I've got this this one here is all set up for my my van and it's a case of putting it on I do this without my glasses on there you go so you clamp it up push it through and it's done so this is a very good visual and mechanical deterrent as well as that obviously i've got the good old-fashioned 
steering lock. So with this on there and the clutch claw and the seat turned round and locked there's a very very good chance that someone's going to see that and move on to try and steal someone else's van uh, and not mine. Now on the subject of locks, I've also got this Fiamma habitation door lock. It goes right across the main lock to the door itself. So when that's disengaged, you can get to the lock and open the door. But you can also slide it up into position and lock this. This is bolted all the way through. So that's two levels of security on one door. So that gives me quite a few methods of locking out a potential thief. The Fiamma lock, the deadlocks, pedal locks, steering wheel lock and driver's chair lock. Now in the next video, in part three, I'm going to show you the electronic locking that I've got in place as well. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment on anything you uh, you see, if you think I can do better, or if I need to change anything. And um, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now, folks.